Hey y'all, Eric here with a, another one. I wanted to make a quick video because I've gotten some comments uh, and some questions regarding the St. Augustine Green Up. As you know, I live in North Carolina, Charlotte area, so it does get cold here. We had a deep freeze of eight degrees, well, six to eight degrees for the better part of a week over this winter. I did expect some damage to the lawn. I'm not seeing too much damage, but I am seeing it's a little bit slow to green up. And there was some concern in the comments saying, I've never had my St. Augustine go that brown and come back again. Well, what I wanted to do is take you into the lawn, show you how resilient St. Augustine is and how uh, patience will definitely pay off as we nurse the St. Augustine back into its full green up. Remember, in my area, we're not even close to grow season yet. I've got another five weeks until grow season, true grow season, where we're sustainably above 55 degrees in the evenings and in the 70s to 80s every single day without any chance of getting into the 40s or the 30s. So for me, I, I have to learn the patience game and understand and have faith that St. Augustine is super resilient. And the reason why I know that is because I have a little bit of experience now. So if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a ton. And let's get right into the lawn. So here is an area of the grass where it's coming in a little sparser. A couple weeks ago, you might have looked at this and said, well, this looks like a lot of it might be damaged. There's no way it's going to come back. But St. Augustine is very resilient. And let's go deeper into the grass and I'll show you what's happening up close. So this is just up close. Just wanted to show you that, you know, this all looks dead, right? This all looks dead, but there's a slight green. And as you can see, even this, this piece here, this stolen, this stolen is green, a little bit of brown, but look at it, it's already starting to produce more stolens. This is gonna shoot off like crazy. Uh, and this is happening all over uh, more sparsely than last year but remember we had that deep freeze uh, this is saint augustine palmetto it's good to about 12 degrees we were at eight degrees dropped down to six degrees for almost five days straight so the fact that this grass is so resilient i am shocked uh absolutely shocked i thought i'd have more damage uh there is some damage in areas uh more than others but really this stuff is coming back fantastically so be patient with this stuff where you're like, oh, this is absolutely dead because it's not. And you'll be surprised if you push this stuff hard enough with fertilizer and you treat it the right way, St. Augustine will treat you right. Here's another great example. There's many examples of, of this type of growth in my lawn just because when I had that tree cut down, uh, the tree guys trampled this area. I knew they would. It's not their fault. Uh, the tree needed to come out. It was a big tree. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, I was planning on plugging this area this year anyway. But if you look here, here, all this looks dead. And it's bare. This was trampled on by machines, by feet, uh, logs thrown around. And there's shoots coming out of the ground. I thought stolons only grew above the ground. It's not true. They are uh, a bit submersive. They're not like rhizomes, like in Bermuda, but they, they do survive underground. Super resilient, great green color. Uh, we're going to get St. Augustine grass here. So key, don't panic. Another great example, just a pile of nothing here. Dead grass and St. Augustine, Augustine's coming out of what seems to be nothing, but there's a lot going on underneath the soil. If you don't believe me, pull weeds by hand. Like I had said in my last video, I was pulling fescue out and there were stolons underneath the grass that were super green that were being pulled out. And once you plant this stuff, there is a whole ecosystem going on here. This area of my lawn is coming in a little bit faster. This area of my lawn gets full sun, doesn't get walked on very much. Um, so let's go into this and I'll show you how this is doing at a different stage in the green up. Ah, this looks really nice. Um, this is what we're waiting for. 
and then about three to four weeks in the other areas. But this is beautiful St. Aug coming in, a couple little thin spots here and there, right? But uh, she's gonna come in quickly just to let this stuff go. In my opinion, in my experience, don't make any judgment on your green up until you're a solid week into the actual grow season. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. My grow season has not started. We had 39 degree weather for three days in a row this week. And we might get another 39 degrees uh, before the 15th of April um, or after. So really, I'm not gonna make a decision on going full nuclear option on any areas of my lawn, whether it be plugging, you know, digging up, uh, whatever the case might be until we get some good grow season in and I can really tell which areas need some help. Now we're just about 10 yards in front of the area that's greening up nicely and this area is not greening up as nicely. Is that because it's damaged? Is it because there's fungus? Not that I can see. Again, we had the freeze. We have to give the St. Augustine some time to recoup baby it, spoon feed it nutrients, and see uh, what's next. But as you can tell, I mean, this stuff is going to come in and it's going to come in fast. So what I'm gonna do is just keep giving you updates, stick, up, stick with the channel, and uh, we'll see which areas of my lawn come in faster than others. But right now, I'm not worried about this area just because another area is growing faster. There's a lot that goes into why one area would grow faster. What I've noticed is the low areas in my lawn tend to come back faster. And my, I guess my opinion is, uh, is that water goes down in that area, but it doesn't flood it and it settles. So that water, that, that, that area gets water constantly when it rains in the winter. So it's less likely to freeze because it's moist. And so it comes in a little bit healthier. This is on slope and it's gonna come in a little bit slower and that's okay. I know it's tough seeing your neighbors with the great lawns right now. And especially if they have fescue or sometimes Bermuda will come in uh, in these times sooner, sooner than the St. Augustine. That's a rarity though. But this stuff is gonna come back with a vengeance and we'll be back to dominating in no time. So as you can see, St. Augustine is very resilient. This grass will come back and it'll tell us a story in about one or two, three weeks of where we might need to uh, throw some plugs down. There's one area where I was gonna throw plugs down anyway, but I'm actually excited to see how well that comes in without that tree there. That tree was providing so much shade that it was really making it impossible for St. Augustine to really take hold in that area. So I will keep giving you updates on my grass, but I wanted to tell all of my followers, anyone that has St. Augustine right now, that it is best just to be patient, to understand that your grass will come back as long as you're feeding it. Great fertilizer, applying fungicide, doing all the things that we normally do, keep moving your feet, do the same thing that you did last year, and the areas where you'll need to replug will show themselves. But for right now, hold off until you're at least two to three weeks into the real grow season. And I think you'll be very pleased at how resilient St. Augustine is. I want to thank you so much for joining me on a, another video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.